What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another movie review. I'm Chase Lee, reviewing for DallasMovieScreenings.com, and the movie I want to take a look at right now is Extraordinary. Yes, it is spelt out that way, but it makes sense when you watch the movie, and it gives you a clear indication on how crazy, zany, and wacky this movie will be, which is not a bad thing. But uh, I'm going to have to use my phone for filmmakers' names, actors' names, and the plot synopsis because there's a lot going on here with the movie itself and some of these names I cannot pronounce, so I apologize. i got to use my phone for most of this stuff. So here we go. It is directed by Mike Ahern and or in here uh, in the Loman Loman. I tried. I apologize. Uh, the plot goes as follows. Rose, a mostly sweet and lonely Irish driving instructor, must use her supernatural talents to save the daughter of Martin Martin. Yes, that's his name from a washed up rock star using her in a satanic pack to reignite his fame. So a lot going on in this movie for sure. And uh, it is based on a true story, which is crazy, because uh, when you watch this thing, you're like, someone documented this thing, and it, it happened for real? So That's awesome. <laughs> I kind of want to do more research now, which is one of the perks after watching this movie. If you like it, I think you'll want to kind of research into what actually happened. Um, so yeah, when I saw the trailer to this, I... Thought it looked really funny. Uh, it had the same type of energy and flow as like a Shaun of the Dead. It was just that irreverent, kind of dry, witty sense of humor that I've always uh, kind of enjoyed. It makes it stand out from other comedies that come out. So the trailer was very, very promising. I like this movie. <laughs> and uh, it's one of the first great ones of the year where I'm just like, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. It stands out amongst all the other ones I've seen here in the the States, and that's a great thing. Uh, Cranked Up Films is a division of Good Deed Entertainment, by the way. And they did the same thing to me last year where I saw, like, To Dust and, like, Storm Boy. Those were two of, like, the better ones of the year so far at that point. So they're doing it again with this one. And this is more of, this is their genre division. So, yeah, keep it coming. But, uh, yeah, I like this movie quite a bit, man. And... It just uh, it was just one of those breezy, enjoyable watches that you can sit, watch, be done with, and be like, I'm going to go enjoy my day now. That, br- that brought a smile to my face. So let me start with the overall kind of vision and direction of this film uh, from the directors here. And I think they did a pretty good job capturing this kind of zany attitude, this bubbly personality of a movie. It's really likable, and it's just really entertaining from you know start to finish and capturing that... Like I said, kind of energy uh, of like dry sense of humor with, you know, these kind of insane visuals. It just all the visual gags are on point and kind of has the aspects of like a slapstick comedy. Um, it just everything about the overall vision for this just screams out fun, enjoyable, infectious entertainment. And everyone was on their A game in terms of performances. And it's just a really tightly edited movie. The. Uh, Production design looks really nice. It's just, it, it's the the type of you know film when you see the directors take on this um, you know material. It could have easily gone south, and it could have been you know extremely unfunny, and it just really didn't hit the mark on any of the jokes. But not only are the the jokes super successful, and they're on point, and their uh, delivery is just amazing. This film looks really great too. Like the the scope of this community in Ireland, it's just, it's so luscious with color and just, it's so bright with personality and character. It's a small little community and it makes the characters stand out more. It makes us connect to them even more with their um, uh, bubbly attitudes and uh, zany um, kind of humor. It just, everything about it is just, it's so uh, meticulous and just um, really focused on that. I just, uh, I thought everything was just brought to life and, Really kind of executed really well from a a directing standpoint. The performances are great. Like I said, the comedic timing and the improv of all of these people are outstanding. Now, Will Forte is the selling point for, you know, people like me that live in the United States. And that's fine and dandy. And he was really funny in the movie because I know Will Forte. I know how funny he can be. But the main people uh, that we follow, uh, Maeve Higgins, who plays Rose, in uh, Barry Ward, who plays Martin Martin. I've never heard of these people in my life. They were outstanding. It's the type of comedic performances that are so committed and so uh, just laugh out loud funny. Like I caught myself like almost crying in tears by some of the um, um, 
throwback lines they would throw at one one another. I could tell like some of the scenes were improv and kind of freely acted on and like they didn't seem like they were aloof with their acting. Like everything they were doing was precise coming out of their mouth and their actions. Like it's the type of performances that made me go, wow, who are they? And let me see more of them. So that was the movie's goal for people like me that live in the States and don't know who they are. Job well done. But yeah, every single person in this movie, they cast this thing uh, super well and they got the right people to deliver this material. Uh, Some of it is just so crazy that you have to find people that are willing to uh, believe these certain supernatural things and really commit to the performance and the actions that are happening in the, the scene. And you gotta, you gotta sell it to us. And I think they did a great job. Just that, that dry, that dry wit, um, that you would get from like a Shaun of the Dead or something is just, it's implemented here. And I, I really enjoyed it, but yeah, it, it's, it's a well shot movie. It's a well edited movie and just everything on top of it just makes it, uh, an enjoyable experience. So, for if you want an out there type of comedy, something that kind of catches you off guard and you don't know what to expect, but you like, uh, you know, a different style of comedy that isn't, you know, American comedy, please, please, please give this one a shot. You will enjoy yourself. Trust me. So I'm going to give Extraordinary a, uh, a B. It's just a solid B. It's a good movie. Uh, please, please, please check it out because uh, it's probably going to you know, hit a lot of, you know, rental streaming services and stuff. Uh, Give it a watch, man. Yeah. So extraordinary, quite, uh, quite dug it indeed. That made no sense, but you know what? This movie messed up my brain. So I'm just going to say what I'm going to say, but please let me know down below if you've seen extraordinary, if you've even heard of it, you know, if you dislike it, love it, please comment down below. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can get up to date on when I review whatever and put it on the channel for you guys. You guys are the best, but that will do it for this review, guys. I'm Chase Lee for DallasMovieScreenings.com, and tune in next time for whatever I review. Next, I will see you guys later.